Hi everyone, I am Dr. Rashmi and today I am going to talk about laser hair reduction. It is a commonly used cosmetic procedure to get rid of unwanted hair. Now how does it work? What is the principle behind it? We are going to discuss everything in detail. The laser hair reduction machine, it works upon the principle called as selective photothermolysis wherein it targets a specific chromophore which in case of laser hair reduction is the pigment present in the growing phase of the hair cycle. So basically it targets the hair follicle and it leads to destruction of hair follicle. So many times you would wonder why do we need so many sessions of laser hair reduction? It works on the growing phase of this hair for growth which is called as anagen growth. It works on the anagen phase of the hair which is growing phase of the hair. So basically that's why it is not effective of all the hair where we are running the laser machine. So that's why you need so many settings to get rid of unwanted hair. Laser hair reduction is approved by US FDA. No, this is a myth. It does not cause cancer. There are so many studies and in fact so many data we have that many times patients come to us asking that doctor does it cause cancer? No, absolutely no. Actually, it should not be done during pregnancy. There is a very limited data and so we prefer not to do laser hair reduction during pregnancy. So if you are pregnant, then don't go for LHR right now. Once you deliver, post that. This is totally safe. Yeah, there are several side effects of laser hair reduction which can happen. However, if you are going to a board certified dermatologist and going to experienced dermatologist, the side effects do not happen and can be minimalized. The common side effects which you could see would be pigmentation changes, blisters or there can be scarring, there can be a change in color or sometimes there can be paratoxical hypertrichosis when the laser is specifically targeted on the areas where there are no hair and when you tend to target LHR on those areas, it can lead to paradoxical hypertrichosis wherein actually you see increased in the hair growth. Many other side effects can also be seen however I would like to mention that if you go to experience board certified dermatologists these do not occur. This is a very safe procedure. The various machines which is approved for laser hair reduction can be various technology based upon NDAG laser or diode laser or IPL. So these are main machine which uh, is usually in the market. Now there is a trend which people are saying that you know the laser does not uh, does not is not really very effective, and even after getting laser they're getting getting kind of you know again they're experiencing hair. So that can only happen if you have some hormonal disorders, if you have not been checked or evaluated properly, and you have straight away undergone laser LHR. So in that situation there can be certain uh, conditions where you actually can experience increase in the hair growth, or there is no result even after the machine. Uh, six settings of the LHR. It also depends on the kind of equipment which is used. If you are not uh, using a machine which is board certified or which is approved by USFDA, you are using cheaper lasers just going for running for offers. In that case, it is likely that you will not get proper result. <music>